Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today we're going to talk about walkers. And as always, when you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will test you on this assistive device. So let's get started. When you're studying walkers for your exams, there are some things you want to remember. You want to remember the proper fit, what are those characteristics that the walker actually fits your patient, how to walk with the walker, so the gait and how the patient should get up and sit down in a chair. So first, let's talk about proper fit. How do you know that this walker actually fits your patient? Well, before a patient even uses a walker for the first time, it has to be adjusted. And on most walkers, they're adjusted down at the bottom. You have to adjust each leg. There's four of those legs. So you've adjusted the walker. Now what do you look for? These are things you want to remember for your exams. Well, have the patient hold onto the hand grips while they're standing with the walker, and you're going to look at that elbow. There should be about a 15 to 30 degree bend in the elbows. Also, when the patient holds their arms down at their side, their wrist crease should line up with those hand grips. Those two things really tell you that this walker fits this patient. The next thing you want to know about is the gait. How does your patient actually walk with the walker? And this is something that you really want to pay attention to for exams. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to what's moving first. Is it the walker? Is it the weak side or the strong side? And how that order goes. So before a patient actually uses a walker for those first couple times, you want to make sure that you have applied a gait belt to their waist for safety. Also, you want to stand on the patient's weak side in case they start to stumble or fall. You want to be there. And you want to tell the patient before they start ambulating with their walker that they don't want to stare down at their feet while they're doing it, even though that just seems like something natural you want to do. That can actually mess them up and cause them to fall. They want to look straight ahead just like if they were walking normally. And the starting position. How do they start out walking with their walker? Well, they want to make sure that the back tips of the walker match up with the middle of their foot. Now let's talk about how you actually ambulate with a walker. To ambulate with the walker, first the patient's going to get in position and hold on to the hand grips of the walker. First, they will lift and move the walker forward and then make sure all four points of the walker are touching the ground. Then they will move the weak side, put weight on the hands via the hand grips, and then move the strong side. Again, they will lift the walker, move it forward, make sure all four points are on the ground. Then they will move the weak side, put weight on the hand grips, and then move the strong side. To sit down in a chair, a patient is going to take their walker, hold onto the hand grips, and slowly back up to the chair until they fill the chair with the back of their legs. Then they're going to slightly extend that weak leg out and take their hands and position them behind them and bend their strong leg and feel for the chair's armrest and then set down. To get up from the chair, what the patient's going to do is, of course, make sure the walker is out in front of them. They're going to lean forward out of the chair, make sure their hands are on the hand rest, and slightly extend that weak leg out. Then they are going to put weight on their hands by pushing up on the armrest of the chair and with their strong leg and putting their hands on the hand grip of the walker. Then they are ready to ambulate. And again, to do that, they will lift the walker, make sure all points are on the floor, move that weak leg, put weight on the hand grips, and then move the strong side. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the free quiz and to subscribe to our channel for more videos.